So what I'm doing is I'm setting up a troubleshooting scenario for one of my students. He is going to troubleshoot this transmitter that's receiving a type K thermocouple input and reporting that signal to our loop system over there to our uh, control panel. And here's the fault I'm putting into it. If you look at the thermocouple connector right here, it's kind of hard to see at this uh, fuzzy grainy video, but I have cut off the yellow wire. I've created an open. And so his transmitter is not going to be receiving the thermocouple signal as it should. And he's going to have to troubleshoot this using basic test equipment like multimeter. Okay, so here we are with our problem. The indicator, TI6, is indicating 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The actual sensor is just measuring ambient air temperature, room temperature. So it ought to be somewhere around 70. Mm -hmm. uh, don't know why it's doing that. So Did it just happen? Um, yes, it was working fine, and then last night it just stopped working. It just gave us this. Okay, let's go take a look at it. All right. If you want something to hold the diagram for you, yeah, that's you fine. want to hold that for me? the transmitter terminals. Transmitter terminals. And what do I get? 21.44. Okay. Okay. What does that tell you? So you're getting voltage. All right. From the DCS. So let's measure milliamps and see what that gives us. So. Switch it over. So I'm going to measure across. So I'm measuring high. Okay. I should be measuring <laughs> between four to twenty. Okay. What does that tell you then about the problem? <laughs> that tells me that. <laughs> okay. When I test the thermal couple. So you got to warm up the thermal couple. Yeah, I'm gonna warm up the thermal couple and see if our indicator changes. Is it changing? Nothing? Okay. So. Okay. Let's uh, short it out real quick and see if it is even getting. So you're shorting out the thermocouple? Shorting it out to see if we can be an ambient temperature. No change. Seventy-one degrees, room temperature. So as soon as you shorted the input, read seventy-one. Mm. What does that tell you? That tells me that could be a thermocouple problem. Okay. Um. This is going to the positive side. Yeah. Negative side. Tight. Let me. Uh, Open this up and see if uh, these are right. These are correct in here. Okay. Just to make sure that the polarity hasn't gotten changed. Or did it just happen, didn't it? Yeah, it was working fine. Nobody came out in here and messed with anything? As far as I know. And if they did, I wouldn't admit it. Okay. So let me just check to make sure. <laughs> Okay, so here, if you look at this, we're not getting connectivity from a positive side of okay. our thermocouple. So it's just, so it's... So the wire broke or came loose or something? Yeah, the wire broke, came loose. Okay. Does that explain what we're seeing? It's, yeah, so... Yeah, so... It, 
what, it's, what it has done is it like it's felled high, is what it's done. Okay. So, you know, it could be a safety thing in here mm -hmm. that's telling it that when it's not seeing the right, that it either fells high or low. And this one, for instance, is felling high. Okay. So when we put this back, it should. It should. Uh, okay. It should work. I'm with you. Let's keep the camera rolling until it's fixed. Okay. So. Yeah, you may need to take the other one out and get them equal length. Yeah. Let me get me some um, strippers. Panel, thanks. It's always quicker and easier to break than it is to fix. Funny how that works. Yeah. <laughs> but your test using the jumper is fantastic. Because placing the jumper across there simulates a, a thermocouple at room temperature. Mm -hmm. And immediately you saw that it read out room temp. So it tells you the transmitter is working, you know, the, it's ranged properly. Wiring from there all the way back to the system is fine. Of course, you knew that the 4 to 20 milliamp wiring is fine because you read the proper voltage yep. and you read the uh, you read a current that was higher than normal. Yeah, a little bit higher. But again, that agreed with your controller, yeah. mm -hmm. so that was standing to reason. Your controller was simply indicating what it thought the temperature was. Now, you did mention one thing earlier on. You you wondered to yourself if maybe you had too much voltage at those terminals yeah. causing too much current. Remember the job of the transmitter. It's, it's going to regulate, regulate current. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Exactly. So long as the voltage is within limits, and I think it can go as high as 40-some volts. And so long as you're... What? Uh, 12. It depends on the transmitter. It'll say on the side. In fact, let me poke my head in here and try to see. Four. I don't think it's safe with the camera. And so... Uh, as long as we're within the limits of 12 to 42.4 volts, that transmitter ought to be able to do its job. Oh, stop. Cool.